This. Okay, uh, probably, so yeah, we will start. We will start. Okay, can you? No. So can you see us? <laughs> yes. Yeah, everybody, Hi. can you see us? Hi. I guess Hi. we have uh, 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 quite a few students joining from uh, Zoom as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we may have around 10 more students in the Zoom. Right, so it's great. We have around 30 students. Great, uh, that's a... Yeah, we have around call. 30 students on class, this classroom. That's, that's, great. that's great. Well, thank you. Thank you, Professor Trey, for organizing this info session. Uh, yeah, that's and, my pleasure. Uh, <laughs> you are, yeah, you are our best, rec best recruiter <laughs> on, on the ground, yeah. I hope to be, and uh, I want to send my students to our University of Illinois, middle of nowhere, Confield, Beanfield. My pleasure. <laughs> okay, good. So then I will start. I will start. And uh, on this class, and uh, we have around 30 students, and uh, at the Zoom, we have around 10 more students. And absolutely many of our WKU students, Wenzhou Kane University students, and they are very interested in the world, uh, the, the world class, our the University of Illinois guys graduate, business graduate program. And uh, many of our students are interested in the MSA program, but however, the, absolutely, the many of our students uh, want to learn more about it another graduate program. So then, yeah, okay. So I shortly introduced the, what is what is the, what what is this what is this career fair? More coming, okay. And then yeah, maybe Jia will introduce the what is the program of this and the, what kinds of the program we have in, at the University of Illinois, and uh, especially for the guys business school. And then yeah, that's it. And shortly, so I would like to start with the introduction of the University of Illinois and the WKU, the collaboration and the prospect of the yeah our the our our undergraduate to the graduate program. And the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, the guys business school, offers one of the best world-class graduate programs. And for example, the master of the science in the accountancy has been consistently top ranked, the world ranking number two for many years. And master of the science in finance, master of the science in financial engineering and the management, and the MBA program, master of the technology management, and the master of the in business analytics, uh, several online degree programs uh, stretch the guys' business schools option. And from 2020, this year, uh, the University of Illinois Guides Business School and the Wenzhou Kane University College of Business, uh, we started the international collaboration and the guys business school provided a separate advantage for our WKU students. And for example, no TOEFL and no IELTS is the, the standardized that the English test not necessary when you apply. Okay. And then absolutely you need just my personal the recommendation remarks. Okay, that makes it simple. And absolutely the University of Illinois will give you a more expedited and a more simple applications. That's our advantage. And the University of Illinois and the guys business school welcomes well prepared and the well rounded capable the our WKU students. Thank you. And then we will listen from the GI. Okay. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you, Professor Trey, for your great in introduction of uh, UIUC and uh, this College of Business. Um, yeah, my name is Jia. I am the Associate Director for International Recruiting and Admission for these graduate programs. So I cover all of the programs, kind of bringing students who are interested in GIS uh, into our, um, you know, into our program. And uh, I have Emily here. Uh, Emily, would you like to introduce yourself a little bit as well? Sure. Thank you, Ja. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Emily Ziegler. I am the Senior Associate Program Director for the Master of Science in Accountancy, the MSA program. Um, thank you so much for welcoming us today. I'm really excited to hear a little bit from you, but also answer as many questions as you have about our university and our program, because um, we hope that someday you'll join us. 
Great. And I have a special guest here um, uh, as well. Uh, her name is Yang. Yang, could you turn on your video? Uh, of course. Hi, everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Hi. Hi, Professor. Hey. Uh, my name is Yao, and I also uh, currently I am a MSA student, but I graduated from WPU this year. Uh, I am also the UIUC International Programming Liaison, so I'm really excited to meet you guys and share some like my personal experience with you guys. Great. So what I am going to do is to quickly go over the presentation about University of Illinois geese and all of our programs. And then uh, I don't want to steal Emily's thunder. So today <laughs> uh, we'll spend more time on the MSA program because uh, you know we uh, definitely the MSA program loves the Wenzhou Keen students. Uh, and then Emily will go over the curriculum and everything that you want to know about MSA, right? Um, so I am going to share my screen to say some time, um, I'm just gonna, I have a Chinese presentation <laughs> for, the, um, uh, for the whole university introduction. So, um, so I feel like China, I can speak Chinese quicker <laughs> so we can spend time more, uh, more efficiently on the, uh, on the overall university introduction. Well, let me share my screen here. Yes. Give me a thumb, thumb up. Okay. Um, 好,大家晚上好,然后今天非常高兴跟大家在一起讨论我们UIUC商学院的硕士项目。Okay, uh, firstly, I have a quick question for everybody. Um, how do you pronounce the letters G-I-E-S correctly? <laughs> Guys? Guys? Wow. Mm. Professor Trey, I have to correct you. It's actually geese. The oh. same as animals. Oh. No Jeez. worries. Ninety-nine point nine percent of the people cannot pronounce it correctly the first time. <laughs> um, the geese, uh, geese college business. geese college business. Why we are named uh, uh, as geese college business? Okay. 首先跟大家介绍一下我们UIUC的地理位置 一个非常美丽的campus 然后我们在离圣路斯有两小时四十分钟的车程 然后Indianapolis也是我们 最古老的一个玉米地的实验田，因为我们是呃最开始的时候是一个以农业focus在农业的一个学校。那么现在呢，我们呃学校最最好的这个专业是engineering for business 然后大家呢呃可以啊这个玉米地的大学是比较 misleading 啊，虽然我们旁边也有很多玉米，玉米很好吃，但是我们不是一个啊坐落在一个荒郊野岭的地方啊。嗯， so um。下面一个呢，就是我呃，简单介绍一下我们香槟呃，Champagne uh, Twin City 大家可以看到我们嗯，还是一个比较现代化的小型的城市，交通非常的方便。然后左上角是我们 College of Business 啊 uh, Business Instructional Facility 啊，大家可以看到是一个非常现代化的建筑。然后呢，中间呢是我们的这个所谓的商业街啦，有很多很好吃的东西啊，包括中餐啊、韩餐啊、印度餐，还有我们的博物馆。也是开放给所有的 
啊，然后我们这个在这呃 art 还有 performing art 方面呢，我们有一个特别特别大的一个 performing art center 啊，每一年呢，我们都会请很多很好的艺术家来，大家可能看不到中间的这个，就是中下中下下角的这个呃这个呃这个钢琴家啊，他是朗朗，嗯，朗朗是来过我们学校做。呃，这个音乐会的，当时你可以花十五块钱就可以听到朗朗的演讲，呃，朗朗的演奏。然后呢，我们也是一个非常好的、呃、非常大的一个 Big Ten， 呃 ，you know sports、uh, school， 嗯、呃，大概每周末的时候你都可以呃去 enjoy either football 啊、basketball、volleyball 各种各样的比赛啊、呃，去享受到这个美国大学城的这个氛围。啊、呃，是一个我们相比尔巴呢，是一个非常现代化、国际化又城市化的大学城。啊、呃。更比呃 metropolitan area 更好的地方呢，是我们的交通非常方便啊、呃，大家呢可以省下更多的时间来学习啊、呃，来 have fun， 然后 focus 在找工作，而不是在这个交通上面。呃，我们的学术排名呢，目前在全美是呃综合排名是第四十一位，然后软科、泰晤士全球高校排名和 QS 也都是在前一百名和前五十名。那么大家如果回国找工作的话呢？啊，这个排名是没有问题，可以进到很多很多公司的这个 target list 里面。我们有啊，还有很多知名的华人校友，比如说朱克桢啊、李安啊、张春如啊，还有这个姚七志，就是清华姚班的那个姚七志老师啊，还有易刚是目前我们这个央行的呃一把手，都是从我们学校 UIUC 毕业的。啊、uh, ，所以 UIUC 在国内的知名度是非常的高，大家知道啊、uh, ，UIUC 是一个非常呃非常好的这个 engineering school 和 business school， 特别是会计专业。那么我们有很多的校友创立了在业界非常有名的公司，大家可能不知道，其实特斯拉的创始人啊，并不是 Elon Elon Musk， 啊，是我们的校友。<笑> I think I'm really understand part of my presentation. 对，所以说我们是一个非常有创新精神的学校啊。从这个 engineering 方面呀、啊，还有从这个怎么 commercialize 我们的 engineering idea 方面，我们的学校啊，商学院和工学院啊，还有很多其他呃 fine art 学院有很多的合作。那么我们 U C 的 Geese College Business 呢，是全美前十的公立商学院。呃，目前我们的排名是第七，然后从全美的排名呢，我们是第十三。我们的会计学呢是前三，金融和信息管理和运营呢也是排名非常非常的高。我们的院长 Jeff Brown 在呃去年的时候被一个专门呃给商学院排名的杂志《Post and Quants》评评为年度最佳的院长，因为我们的院长呢是非常 visionary， 在呃很多很多就是呃他会去看之后。我们商学院所有全美或者是全球商学院的这样的一个趋势啊，然后让我们呢去投资在更加嗯呃。呃在未来方面，未来发展方面更加呃，对于学生，还有对于研究者，对于业界啊、呃，有帮助的这些项目上面，比如说我们的 online MBA 的 program 啊、呃，是我们在这个 pandemic 之前就已经 launch 的啊、呃，已经呃运营的非常好。那 pandemic 来了以后呢，我们呢就有非常好的 infrastructure 去呃去 support 同学们的这种 online 啊 hybrid learning。那么目前呢，我们介绍的这个硕士项目，所有的项目都是 on campus 的啊，这样呢就会我们可以给同学提供呃很好的这个 campus resource 啊。那么呃，如果大家之后有这个 online learning 的需求的话，我们有很多的 program。嗯，大家可以看到中间的这个穿蓝衣服的人啊，举着这个 g e e s 牌子，他就是 g e e s 他就是 Larry g e e s 是我们的一个非常知名的校友。他在二零一七年的时候捐助了一点五亿美金啊，所以我们的商学院啊有了这个 Gates 冠名。他并不仅仅是捐助这个呃一点五亿美金，所以有一个冠名。他每一年都会回学校很多次啊，去在这个学生的 classroom 里面去做 presentation 啊，或者在学生的毕业典礼开学的时候啊，去给学生们啊加油鼓劲。他是一个非常非常 involved 的校友。所以，我们呢也很开心能够有他给我们的金钱支持，还有呃这个精神支持，对吧？还有很多的 resource， 能够让我们保证我们有足够的动力去呃发展成一个以后非常这个 top 的呃在全球非常 top 的这个商学院。那么，我们所有的硕士项目呢是呃在这个表上面列出来的。我们最最排名最高的项目是 M S Accounting， 呃，它是全美排名前三的项目。一会儿 Emily 会主要的介绍一下。那么我们的金融硕士的项目呢，呃呃也是排名非常高，嗯
呃，全美前六，然后还有我们另外还呃有金融工程、商业分析、科技管理和管理学。那么如果大家呢有兴趣了解其他的项目呢，可以跟我约呃这个 one on one 的 discussion。呃，那么今天呢，我们主要呢是给大家来介绍我们的 M S A M S A 的项目。我们所有的项目都是这个 STEM designation 的。那么这个 STEM 是什么意思呢？可能大家在这个选校的时候要特别注意一下。如果你的呃意愿是留美工作的话，那么你在选择一个硕士项目的时候，一定要选这个呃 STEM designated 的项目。这样呢，你就可以拿你的工作呃毕业了之后拿你的工作签证，在美国工作呃三年啊、呃，这在这段时间呢可以参加这个工作签证的申请啊、抽签啊这样子。那么如果这个项目它特别是会计项目啊，它有的会计项目不是这个 STEM designation 的话，你只能拿你的工作签证在美国呃工作一年，呃拿你的学生签证在美国工作一年的时间，这样呢啊、呃、对于你的工签的呃工作签证的申请呢就有可能会耽误，所以说大家一定要考虑这个呃如果之后的计划是留美还是回国，当然回国的话呃就不是那么重要啊、呃，留美的话呢一定要选择这个 STEM designated 的项目。Okay, so next is uh, I'm gonna give uh my time to Emily. So Emily is gonna talk about uh more on the MSA. So I am I can go over kind of the the overall um MSA kind of highlights, and then Emily can go into the curriculum and answer uh more questions regarding the MSA program. So the MSA uh program uh you know one uh misunderstanding from a lot of uh, the applicants is. You know, uh, accounting master's program is very specialized. Only you know, uh, only consider uh, uh, people with accounting background. Uh, with it's not true for our program. Our program is open to all majors as long as you would like to, um, you know, pursue a accounting career in the future. And then our, um, you know, our accounting faculty ranks number one in the country in the United States. And our uh, accounting program overall graduate program ranks number three in the country. Our international student a career outcome is ninety seven percent, with a recent uh, you know uh, recent survey, and um, our CPA passing rate is top in the country. Overall, the program is twelve months, uh, thirty two credit hours, and then Emily can talk about how to you know split up those thirty two credit hours. And then the entry time is summer in June. Uh, June tenth ish, right? And oh, okay. then uh, you'll be able to graduate the next year in May. Um, total tuition and fee is uh, around fifty six, fifty seven thousand dollars. All right. Next, Emily, you can uh, maybe talk about more um, about accounting because I <laughs> I think you're more qualified than me <laughs> talking about in depth. What is accounting? Why you know? Who can apply? What you know? What what kind of uh, you know, uh, a curriculum you guys offer? Yes, thank you, Jeff. Um, so as John mentioned, uh, our program is very unique in that you do not have to have an accounting undergrad in order to apply for our program. Uh, we do have quite a few international students that do come with accounting, so you are more than welcome to to apply. Um, but that doesn't rule out the undergrad in finance, the undergrad in management, the undergrad in retail, undergrad in history. We love a very diverse class. So um, no matter what your background is, uh, please apply. Um, you only need two prerequisites in order to apply. You need to have a financial accounting course as well as a management course. Um, if you're unable to, um, to take those courses during your undergrad uh, senior year because your schedule is too full, you can always reach out to me and we have some alternatives, um, some Coursera courses that you could take. Um, so I'm happy to work with you with regards to that. Um, but when you get into the program, I'll kind of talk a little bit more about the academics right now before we talk about admissions. We have five core classes that you need to take um, in our program. Those are um, Accounting 501, Accounting 502, Accounting 503, 504 and 505. So accounting 501 is really your very basic uh, accounting analysis. Um, 502 is a step up, it's a, uh, accounting analysis too. Then we also have students take managerial accounting, audit and federal tax. And now we know a lot of students come in um, with their undergrad in accounting from international institutions and they may have covered those classes. 
Um, the really great benefit of our program is we are very personalized. We specialize in making sure that your study plan is unique to you. So you're not going to be taking the same courses as perhaps the student next to you based on your background. So let's say you've already taken a course in auditing, you won't be retaking that course. And the reason we do that is because we want to ensure that you're eligible to sit for the CPA exam uh, once you've completed our program. And when you go to have your credentials reviewed by NASBA and the um, International Association of uh, CPAs, they're going to be looking at it and determine whether or not um, you've had any duplicate work. And we, it's our job to make sure that you don't duplicate any work and so we're reviewing your transcripts very thoroughly and giving you a specialized tailored study plan um, that really fits your background and ensures that you meet the qualifications to graduate from our program. So um, our program is very specialized, as I've been saying. Um, there's those five courses that are required, but if you've already taken something, we do waive it and we replace it with something else that's a little bit more advanced. Um, like uh, Ja had mentioned, there's only 32 credit hours needed to graduate. Um, and we do have a lot of electives that students do take if they have some um, duplicate courses. So um, as I mentioned, lots of electives, but we have some specialized concentrations as well. And two of our main concentrations that our students like to take are our data analytics concentration, as well as our tax concentration. Um, our concentrations are great because they kind of build out your portfolio. Um, there are only three courses that you need in order to get a concentration. And those concentrations are transcriptable. So that would be showing up on your transcript, which is a wonderful benefit and added value to our, our degree as a, as a whole. Um, another fun benefit of our program, um, we have something called the CPA review course. One of the things that our students um, coming into our program are, their goal is to sit for the CPA. And we um, highly um, are proud of ourselves in the fact that we do, um, prepare you very well to sit for the CPA exam. And one of the, uh, the courses that we have is this review course, and you can sit for the CPA review course either in the uh, fall semester or the spring semester. Um, and it's a course that ranges from zero credit hours all the way up to 12 credit hours. Um, the course, there's no additional uh, real cost for you uh, besides for purchasing the uh, study material, which we do use Becker, which is one of the um, the uh, products that um, most of the big four use when they are helping their um, employees uh, study for the CPA. Um, usually that can cost anywhere from, it's around $3,500 or $3, for that package. Our students get a discounted rate and MSA students actually get a scholarship amount on top of that. So total spending for you is only $75 US. So it's a very great savings for you to get this material to study for the CPA. Um, this online course, or this course is fully online. So that's a really great benefit as well. So you don't have to be physically in class uh, taking this CPA review, you can do it from home. Um, and also those credit hours can be used towards the CPA exam requirements. So that again is a really added benefit for um, this course. Um, I will say that um, in addition to the CPA review course, we have something called our CPA study nights. And that is something that occurs every Wednesday evening um, in the fall semester, as well as the spring semester. And that is a great opportunity for you to come to campus, uh, come into the classroom and sit down and study. You're studying with your peers. You can ask questions. Every other week, we have a faculty member there who specializes in one of the four um, areas of the CPA exam there to help answer questions, um, kind of guide you along the way. Um, it's just a really great opportunity and we do provide food every other week as well. So you come, you study, you learn and you get a free dinner out of it as well. So um, a lot of our students find real great added value to that. Um, kind of going along with the extracurricular, I would say, fun with our students. Um, we know you're here really for the academics, but you're also here for the experience, the culture, getting involved. We love to do lots of social events with the students um, within our MSA program, but also outside of the MSA program. Um, we are a big family here at Geese. Um, our students like to do, we have tailgates with the other master's programs. So you're not gonna just be with the MSA students, you're gonna be having experiences with the finance students, the master's of management students. Um, it's just a really great, warm, welcoming environment. Um, we also have really great relationships with our 
career and professional development um, unit downstairs uh, that really help get our students in front of the different um, uh, recruiters. We just finished up our career fair this past week. Um, lots and lots of uh, students, lots and lots of companies. Um, I've just heard from a few of our students that they've already got offers, um, both domestic and international. So uh, it's looking to be a very good year. And as Jaw had mentioned, we're at 97% placement for our last class for international students. Um, and so we're very pleased and very excited, um, and we hope that you'll want to join us here so that you can be a part of this as well. That's great, Emily. So I think a lot of students have the question, right? You know, uh, MSA st program starts very early in June, right? That, um, you know, uh, uh, some of the other programs start in the fall. So students feel like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to enjoy my summer break, you know, before the uh, the graduate program, you know, why does MSA program start in June? Is there any kind of particular reason? Yeah, that's a great, great question. We have that come up a lot. So a lot of international students are worried that your program starts too soon. I'm not going to be able to graduate. I'm not going to have my credentials. And that's partly okay. So um, we don't need to have your official um, documents until actually the fall semester. So you can you don't have to have your diploma in hand in order to start here in June. We allow a window of time after you enroll to submit those documents. Um, so our program actually starts in mid-June. So it's not early June, it's mid-June. June 12th is when classes begin. We usually have um, the week before orientation and it's a very um, kind of casual orientation. It's only a couple days during the week prior. We realize that you're still trying to acclimate with the environment and there's some jet lag and everything. So we don't monopolize your time and we want you to get comfortable in your environment. So we do have um, a lot of pre-work or pre-workshops prior to arrival. So you'll, if you get admitted, you'll start receiving tons of emails from me starting in about March and they kind of really help get you prepared to arrive on campus in June. And in May, we do lots of webinars with these students to kind of get them understanding of what their, um, their course study work plan is going to be and answer any questions they have academically so that that way the orientation is more geared towards getting to know one another, getting to know the faculty, getting to know the alumni, getting to know each other um, and team building and those kind of fun, more exciting activities. But as John mentioned, yes, we do start in June. One of the main reasons we start in June is because um, really that 97% placement rate. We have a lot of um, opportunities on campus for MSA students with regards to career development during the summer that we wouldn't have otherwise if we started our students in the fall. Um, during the summer months, there's a soft skills course that's available for our students. Um, it really helps you to kind of get to know your brand and how to present yourself in a career fair. As I had just mentioned, career fair was last week. Uh, that was the second week in September. The fall students start uh, the like third week in August. So really those students that start in the fall only have about four weeks to prepare for the career fair, if that. And so our students have a much longer period of time to really prepare for the career fair, get to feel comfortable, get to feel confident, and that really sells at the career fair. And so, um, I think that it's a wonderful opportunity to get here in the summer, kind of get to know accounting a little bit better, feel comfortable in this environment, feel confident in your skills for um, really branding yourself. And so when you get into that career fair, you're able to hit the ground running. That's great. And another question uh, from our students or a lot of the students regarding MSM, of MSA program, it's uh, that, you know, 90% of the classes, um, Chinese students, and they, they're not able to have that kind of experience interacting with Americans. Uh, could you clarify, is that true? It's 90% Chinese? That is definitely false. We do not have a 90% Chinese population in our program. It's much, much less. It's even less. It's around 50%. Um, so it's, it's, you're definitely going to be a, a surrounded by um, a very diverse group of students. We have students this year, I think we have over 13 countries represented in our program. Um, so it's, you're not coming here from China to China. So it's not going to be like that at all. You're going to see faces 
from all over the world in our program. And not only that, like I mentioned earlier, you're going to be involved with other programs as well during some of these um, events. So we, we work closely with the MSF program, the Master of Science in Finance, the MSM, Master of Science in Management. And so those programs also have a very diverse group of students. And you're going to have just a very diverse experience when you're here on campus. So uh, the 90% Chinese student population in the MSA program is definitely false. Great. Well, thank you for clarifying that. <laughs> clarifying that. I should record it and then you know <laughs> include it in all of my presentations. Uh, and another question from our student is a career outcome, uh, you know, and the students know, uh, well, a lot of students think like, you know, after graduation, uh, you know, it's automatically you're going to bank for, uh, that's kind of your only career choice. Uh, could you talk about the career outcomes and the, what kind of jobs are available for MSA graduates? Yes, so um, it is some people's goals to work in the big four and that's perfectly fine. Big four is one of our, uh, they are some of our biggest supporters in recruiting our students. Um, we have great relationships with them actually during the summer. Um, Pre-COVID, we would take our students up to Chicago to visit the big four. Um, during COVID, uh, we've actually been able to do um, virtual meet the big four events during the summer as well. So another great benefit of coming during the summer is you get to have really close relations with the big four during these events. Um, you get to meet with the recruiters, you get to network with the professionals at these big four companies. Um, but that's not to say that our students specifically go to the big four. We have students that go to a, a wide variety of uh, companies, as you can see on the screen here. Um, students, uh, the MSA, MSA degree really um, sets you up well for success in any of these companies because accountants are needed in order to run a business. Um, our students have uh, titles as accounting associate, analyst, audit associates, um, investment banking associates, risk associates, staff accountants, tax accountants. It, it goes on and on. Um, so you are welcome to really just apply wherever you feel is a good fit. Um, we also know that a lot of times our students that come in with a degree non-accounting really like to pair up whatever their undergraduate degree was in with this Master of Science and Accountancy. So for instance, if you come in with a degree in the sciences or health related and you get your MSA, well, perhaps you would go into a healthcare field or um, go into a hospital and become an accountant at the hospital. Or if you come in with a degree in chemistry and you get your accounting, maybe you would go into a pharmaceutical company to be an accountant. So there's a lot of variety that you can do and build on um, with this, this accounting degree. That's great. Yeah, I think it's a great job security because every, like what you said, every company needs accountant. <laughs> and accounting skill, it's very essential for you to run the business or being you know, in the management title, or management level as well. All right now, uh, do uh, does ever anybody have question for Emily? Feel free to raise your hand or you know uh, turn on your microphone. Um, and then have, yeah, has a microphone, microphone as well. Yeah, I have a microphone. So any question to Emily or the, to Jia? Any question? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, okay. And so, okay, so that's still working. Okay, so our students when apply for the MSA program, they don't need the TOEFL or G, uh, TOEFL or IELTS, the English standardized score. No. That's uh, Emily, uh, regarding TOEFL requirement. The requirement oh. our, the, our students don't need a TOEFL score. Uh, absolutely, they will provide the uh, GRE or GMS for for the no TOEFL. That is correct. Yeah, we That's do right. waive the TOEFL slash IELTS, but you will yeah. need to provide a GMAT or a GRE. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And the one more. Okay. So they, our students don't need the uh, recommendation letter requirement. I just I just left her. I just become a recommender. That's yeah. enough. Okay. That is good. Correct. Thank you. And absolutely, you will give our students to have a more favorite, favorite uh, criteria something. I hope. Uh, yeah, fair, fair competition, I, I guarantee. But Harvard, 
Okay, expertise is a more simple application. Yes, we have a okay. very quick application process for students from Wenjun Key. Yes. Thank you. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Any other questions? Okay. Yes, okay. again. English. So that, that so this, this, this one? Yes. This, this one? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's okay. I, I'm recording. So I can push you Okay. Okay. So, no problem. So, don't worry. I can just do that. Okay. Any other questions about it? You can say program or that. Oh. What? That's the problem. What? In the video? Yeah, this? No. What? The two problems in the map story. Yeah. Can I do it? Oh, can you yes. minimize our video? Yeah. Okay, so that's one. Okay. Picture of the chart. Uh, what is that? Yeah, I'm okay. Sharing that. Okay. So, okay. Sherry, they'll read really that. And the interview? That's an interview? Yeah, interview. MSA ah, ah, interview. Oh, okay, does okay. not have an interview. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Usually, uh, Emily, how, how long does a student, well, if they provide all of the materials, upload everything, uh, everything is ready, um, usually how, how, how long do they need to wait to hear from MSA regarding the uh, admission decision? Yes. So we actually um, have rolling admissions. So the sooner you apply, the sooner you'll find out. And if you have everything uh, together at the time of application, we can review your application and get out an answer or a decision within um, a week to two weeks. Thank you. That's really good. <laughs> yeah, expediting and a simple application. That, okay, that's our event. Okay, so any, any other question about the life and the copy of the video? Okay, uh, okay. and then uh, we can, now we can have Yang uh, turn on he, her video. And I think the students might uh, have some question for her. I'm gonna... Stop my oh. So, um, yeah, you can you know, feel free to use Chinese or uh, English or whatever you feel more comfortable. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, how 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 uh, how's your experience so far uh, in the MSA program? Uh, so, uh, thank you, Professor Choi, and thank you, Jia. So, good news. I will give you like whole Chinese presentation about some. <laughs> My experience. How that how was quite the CRG the Chen Yang. Uh UIUC 虽然我一毕业就马上无缝衔接到了这边，但是我接触到的所有的人，这边所有的老师、同学，包括一些服务人员，都特别特别的好。然后我们学校有非常强大的职业规划的资源，然后我们的上课的教授都是非常业界非常
呃，首先有一个非常好的消息，就是我们本科四年可以说是给我们提供这种呃，在美式教育环境下一个就是课堂上的学习来说是一个非常好的过渡，因为你现在上的在这边基本上是一模一样的全英的教学以及一些。呃 ，discussion 以及一些 homework， 你的本科其实是完全让你具备了在这边学习的一些能力的。所以说，在课堂上这部分专业知识，大家是没有必要进行担心的，基本上是一模一样。你可能只是需要适应一些，比如说老师的口音，以及更加丰富多元的同学的背景，因为你其实是可以接触到除了中国学生之外。呃的一些美国当地人的，呃，但是我想让大家注意的是，来这边，因为毕竟还是出国，你可能是除了学习上，你的生活上都是一个比较大的转变。所以，我们项目我觉得开学早的一个好处之一，就是可以让你更早的呃适应本地的一些生活，比如说你在学校里面如何的坐公交，以及学校里面有哪些。啊、呃，吃喝玩乐的一些可以让你的生活质量提高的一些，呃，资源。同时呢，你也可以就是呃，去结交一些本地的朋友。然后你也是需要有一个这样在生活上的转变的。嗯哼 ，How do you um you know how do you compare the life? Well,、uh, I know that you visited LA as well, right? During the summer, uh, Los、yeah. Angeles. Uh, so how do you compare the life in Uh, Champion and a big city. Is there、uh, like any pros and cons? And can you kind of、uh, talk about your your、uh, kind of、uh, ease of living and including living cost here as well? Okay. Uh, 我认为是香槟，嗯、um, ，它的一个优点，当然也是它的一个缺点，就是比较的村，或者说这个地方是。比较自给自足的，因为这边是所有的，呃，超市啊，生活设施其实是都有的，只不过可能是远离了那些大城市的浮华与喧嚣。L A 或者说是纽约的话，可能就是一些吃喝玩乐上的选择更多，你也会见到更多奇奇怪怪的人。呃，相应的话，这个成本也会高很多。香槟的生活给我的感觉就是。呃，更加的惬意，节奏都很慢。包括你上公交车，在夏季的时候没有那么多的人，公交车的司呃师傅都会很热情的跟你打招呼，你真的会感觉到你没有在异乡，你是被一个很友善的环境所包围着的。同样呢，就是香槟的生活成本也是很低的，因为我们这边有很多中国留学生，然后香槟有很多好吃的中餐，其他的餐。也也有很多，所以我觉得在香槟，不论是学习也好，不论是生活也好，就是在这短短的留学一年到一年半，当然我们 MSA 是一年，你的整个项目体验都是非常之好的。Any question from the audience for Yang or Emily? You 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 can ask in Chinese and then.、Uh... Yang、yeah. or me can translate into English. Don't 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 feel uh you know afraid of asking anything. Okay. So. Okay, Mr. Okay. Oh yeah. Can you speak a little bit louder? We can't hear you. Can you speak a little bit louder? 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 You, if the student can come、uh, closer to your computer, maybe that that works better. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, we can't, we cannot, we can't really hear you. Yeah, I think you probably need to move closer. Okay, to so can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can oh, hear okay. you now. So, yeah, this Hello? Where, where is Professor Trey? Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, I, I think the microphone works better if you're closer to the podium. Okay, uh, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, that's better. So she's asking about it. What is the average GMAT score to get in? We actually don't uh, collect and average out the GMAT scores or the GRE scores just because not everybody, it's not a very good representation to do it as a whole. Um, yep. And it, every year it changes, obviously, because of the, a number of applicants. And so to benchmark it year over year is just not a really good thing to to um, okay. publicize with regards to what the averages are. So it's just a good tool for us to gauge your knowledge and understanding. And mm -hmm. when we're reviewing you holistically for your application, but when we combine all the scores together and it's just not a very good uh, measurement. Mm, okay. So yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, we don't have the, such kind of the very standardized the GMS score standard or something. Okay, yeah. Barbara, we, we leave you many things. Yes, we're, when we're looking at your application, we're reviewing lots of different things. So we're yeah, reviewing your GMAT, your GRE, we're re reviewing your GPA, we're looking at your, I mean, obviously when you're coming from your school, we don't have our right. letters of recommendation um, because you're already highly recommended. Yes, but we're looking, at, we're looking at your, your transcripts and the courses you've taken. Mm -hmm. um, we really like to hear from you as to why it is you're interested in yeah, our program. Purpose. So writing a, a great letter of um, what you're, uh, personal statement is we like yes. to review those as well to make sure that when you submit your application, you upload that as well as your resume. So that helps us to gauge like what type of um, experience you have. Have you had an internship before? Students who have had internships seem to be a little bit more easier placed, um, but it's not required to have an internship uh, in order to apply for our program, but it, it, can, it gives us a little bit more understanding and knowledge of you as an applicant. So we like to get to know our applicants during the admissions okay. process. Okay, thank you. And I will, yeah, I will torture my students to have a more clear purpose statement. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I was, I was, yeah, I was one of the member of the admission committee at the, yeah, at the MSA program 10 years ago. Anyway, so, okay, so there is no standardized uh, uh, the, the criteria for something. However, we always looking for the more holistic, multi-dimensional judgment. So then, yeah, standardized score is just one, small, small part. But however, we always looking for a more purpose. Why, why you apply for the University of Illinois and what is the purpose of the accounting master's program and what will you do for our society? Yeah. So uh, I am sharing a, uh, a T table that I usually share with uh, the general population uh, mm -hmm. regarding the all all the application uh, material requirement. You know, of course, in uh, I'm asking accountancy for one joke in students. Uh, you don't really need a recommendation letter uh, or TOEFL score, but um, other materials are, uh, you know, mandatory. For example, you know, like Emily said, the resume, statement of purpose, transcript, and an application fee. And you know, Jerry and Jim as well. And yeah, just a simple question. And when the first round will be studied, and then when our students need to apply? Great question. We actually start opening our applications um, on October 1st. So October in about 1st. a week. Yep, October 1st is when we start opening applications. So you can feel kind of put together. And on October 1st, you can submit your application if you feel prepared and ready. Um, you could always start an application uh, anytime after October 1st. The deadline to apply for our program is actually February 1st. So you have a few months to do so. Um, but like I said, those who apply early will find out more quickly yep. because we do have okay. rolling admissions. So 
highly recommend that if you um, know this is something that you want to do, get your application in early. Okay, good. Thank you. So October 1st, okay, we start and the all, all the birds always catch the worms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. And yeah, uh, as a uh, uh, a student that was successfully admitted into the program, do you have any recommendation or do you have any suggestion for the students, you know, when they think about applying? Okay, so I will give you like some personal information first. Um, 首先我的GPA的情况可以供大家参考一下。我在申请的时候，我的GPA是3.83，我是通过嘉义的去申请的，但是具体的成绩我有点记不清了。我有一段安永的暑期实习，除此之外呢，我还有一些啊marketing的int
<laughs> I fully agree. Yep. Just apply yeah. on your own. It's very quick. Um, it's very fairly simple. Um, and as I mentioned before, you'll get a decision really quick. Right. You don't need them to write a recommendation letter on behalf of Professor Trey. No. And, <laughs> and uh, you know, all you need to do is take the exam, which you do it by yourself anyway, right? <laughs> and then write a three, is that a 300 word essay or 500 word essay? 100. Yeah. Writing okay. 500 words, it's, you know, you have had the, you know, training for the last the three years or three and a half years to write English. I think you can do it. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And my lovely students are totally ready. Great. Great. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. And I will keep in touch with you. And uh, we have a WeChat group and then and many of students will have uh, questions and then, yeah, we will help them out. Yeah, and we will post and you know important deadlines, and then uh, later on we have our MSA director presenting and you know in depth curriculum stuff and you know yeah. uh, other uh, you know alum alumni or current student sharing events. We will post those events in the WeChat group so you can have more information and more touch point to understand um, our students' experience and our great programs. Thank you so much. Great. Well, okay. thank you everybody for spending thank one hour at your night time and then uh, let's keep in touch. And hopefully I see everybody's application. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, bye. Bye. Thank you. bye.